Hello friends, this is Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How you doing today? Welcome to my channel and I hope you're having a good day. It's a rainy day here in North Carolina, so we'll see what happens. I don't know if it's going to rain all day, but this is my Thrifty Tuesday video. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm here to share some linens. I've been, uh, I, one day I went to the thrift store and I found tons of like doilies. So I'm going to be showing you those and just other things that I've picked up in the last week or two actually and I was just kind of when I discovered all the doilies there was so much I was like I'm just going to do one video on the linens right <laughs> so I'll show you I'll get started and I kind of had a new attitude toward linens and that is because I started making and I have one right here these little scrappy uh strips that can be used as closures or tie closures for journals and this is the really scrappy one where I used you know not just rectangles and squares but little bits and I just had a whole new attitude after I after I kind of opened my eyes and like oh you know all these you know there's so many fabric different types of fabric at thrift stores it's like you know and I know I don't usually buy clothes for for scraps but this particular day I was just I had just made these and I was so excited about them, and it just kind of like, uh, any fabric I saw that I liked, I kind of like decided to experiment with it. So I'll show you that, what I got in that uh, attitude too, when I had that, you know, any fabric goes kind of attitude. So <clears throat> to start with, one thing I bought with that attitude was a little girl's uh, denim jacket. It was so cute with these appliques. I was like, uh, I saw this. And it had these beautiful little appliques that I cut out. And you can see the denim behind behind the flowers. But isn't it cute? And what I would do is either maybe try to sew or just glue this down on to something in my journal. A page, a pocket, a cover, whatever. But so cute. And there were several. The thing was there were several appliques on this little denim jacket. So cute. And there it was at the thrift store. So I cut all of these out of that. So that's one thing, and I'm going to try to go a little bit quick if I can so that I can get through all of this, but <clears throat> this was an apron, and I used to have an apron like this, actually. My sister-in-law made me one, and it was kind of out of similar fabric, not this same fabric, but a blue, uh, kind of this color with the white polka dots. I remember it, like little tiny polka dots, you know what I mean? little dots so I cut that apron up it looked like I, I don't know it reminded, reminded me of like 70s or even 80s more maybe more 80s type uh, fabric that's um, you know I think that's when my apron was from I don't know it might have been 90s but there's a little tag here but uh, yeah I cut that up into pieces where that I could use usable pieces so like this is fabric from that apron that I cut up. It was a long, you know, you know, you have the little piece at the top, then you tie it around your waist, and then you have the part, that, you know, down at the bottom, the, the waist down to the knee part. So that's why there's so much, I feel like there's so much fabric here from that. So that, and this was a pocket on the front of it. Let's see, is it still a pocket? Yeah, see, it's still a pocket. Left it together so I could use that as a pocket, possibly. And then this was from that. All these little pieces were on the front of the part that goes over your chest. This little hat. I fussy cut that out. Cute, right? And then these little pieces of like muslin type fabric. Here's a little flowered piece that was on there. And just little, you know, I didn't really throw any of it away. I just kind of cut it all up in usable pieces that I could that I could cut off, right? So that's the part that was on the front of the chest part. And then there was some, this is the belt and this is some lace that was on there. Just cut that off. See a bunch of lace. And this was the tie, lots of little, <laughs> I mean, this could be used as a tie closure on a journal, right? I would probably, let's see, I fix it up a little bit because I just cut it off. Like I, I go back and cut this piece off here, this extra. But anyway, just to show you everything I got just from one apron, all of that, right? All of that usable parts. 
Okay, so this was, let's see, this is a doily, as you can see, pretty doily. And another pretty doily, a smaller one. And this is a little applique. I saw this on a little child's, you know, like a baby uh, outfit, like little baby pajamas or something. This little giraffe was just staring at me and I cut him out. I thought he was so cute. And I'll cut him out further. Like I'll cut the rest of this fabric out. I just was trying to get through this and kind of like process this so I could, you know, have less stuff in my craft room here that I didn't need. So I just cut this out and this was a little bow that was on there too. Little tiny bow on that little outfit. So I cut that out. Um, there was another little um, cardigan that I started to cut out these little circles and then I just cut out one and that was it. So that one I decided I didn't like so much. So I just cut out that one. But um, this I'll show you was off of, I found two tablecloths that were muslin. They're just muslin. Okay. And they were big, big ovals. And uh, what I really wanted was this right here. <laughs> This was from something else, but this was around the muslin, this little like crochet trim here. Uh, it, well, it's not little, it's a lot. All of this was around there. So I just cut it off. I cut it off, it was sewn on, just sewn around the edge. So I cut that off, so I've got all of that. And then I have the muslin to use too, which is great for junk journals. You know, you can use it for all types of things, tear it into strips or, squares you know and sew it on your little bits and pieces things or glue it on or whatever so all of that and i have two of these there's, there's going to be another one pop up here well here's the other piece i've already um made this one a little neater as you can see this one i just uh threw down here like that and this one i rolled up in a little roll here so that is a lot as you can see a lot of like crochet lace here's this one I believe it's the same. Is it the same? Because they were both, yeah, these are the same. They are both, I found them both on the same day. Oval tablecloths made of muslin with this, this, uh, I'm going to call it crochet lace around it. So that was that. And then this piece uh, was on something else that I cut off again. And it's been about a week since I cut this off, so I don't even remember what it was from. But as you can see, pretty little, kind of like an eyelet almost, lace. So, yeah, a piece of that. And let's see, what else do I have here? This is, okay, <laughs> yeah, I remember this day. <laughs> this is uh, the thrift store where I found a bunch of this stuff. So this is, uh, okay, yeah, they're long here. Let me, I'm trying to unfold them so, so I can unfold them so I can get them apart. So what did I find this day? You never know what you're going to find at a thrift store. That's why it's so fun, right? <laughs> you never know. Um, this was embroidered like a dresser scarf. It's about, what, two and a half feet long, maybe. But this is on both ends right here. This part with the flowers and the butterfly right here. And then there is some lace. And you can see it's rough. It's in rough shape. So that's why it, why it was there. And that's why it was there when I got there because no one wanted, you know, a, you know, raggedy old embroidered dresser scarf, but I did. And there, here it is. And I can cut off this little lace here too. It's like a little, you know, I can get pieces off of here that are still good. This little yellow lace is very delicate. That's why it's probably ripping in spots, but uh, there's a lot of it all the way around. So I felt like you know, I could do something with that and rescue it from <laughs> who knows where. If nobody else wanted it, it would have gone, right? So that embroidery. This, there are more of these. This is uh, like a placemat, right? It's not a pillow cover or anything. It's a placemat. And I just, um, you know, it's pieced together like a, almost like a quilt. It's not sewn through. See, I can, I can pull this apart or cut this apart and just use this top layer. Or I can use... The whole thing if I want a thicker layer but I felt like I could use this in, you know for a journal cover possibly or whatever it's got these little pretty little squares here and there are more of them I just got one because I wanted to experiment with this one it's got pretty lace right here 
And so, yeah, I got one of those just to try out, see if I use it. Um, here's a pretty little, some of these things may go in my, will go in my shop. I'll decide when I'm, in my next step, when I put them away, I'll decide, do I want to put this away in my drawer and use it? Or do I want to put it in my shop? So like this one, nobody wanted this one because it has a hole right here. But of course we can cut it up and use this for little bits and pieces in our little collage, lace collages, pockets, whatever. Very, very usable in a junk journal, right? And then this is a, another dresser scarf. And it has, I don't know if it was, I guess it was made this way. It only has lace on three sides, but it has this wide lace. You can see, look how rough it is. See, nobody wanted it. <laughs> nobody wanted it but me. So, but I can cut off the usable parts of this thick, wide, not thick, but wide lace, wide old. Here's another hole, you know, so I'll be able to cut the pieces off that I can use. And then this, like, this is like linen here. It's got little squares on it already. These could actually be used for pockets, you know, and things. So, uh, again, another very usable piece in a junk journal. I'm just folding as I go because I'm put, trying to put a nice little neat pile next to me. Not a big, <laughs> messy pile. Um, this is another long dresser scarf. This was dresser scarf day, apparently. See, it's got a big old uh, kind of rough rust spot here where something was set on here, unfortunately. But it has this beautiful, let's see which side is the front. This is the, it looks like it was hand done. I mean, look at this stitching. That's the back. And this is the front, a beautiful orange and green flower and then the same does it oh it's just okay it's just one end and this is, again is like a linen so that can be used uh in junk journals and let's see next another dresser scarf with embroidery here's the back side or the front side it goes all the way up here see this all the way down and then it's got this beautiful piece on the end and that is on both ends of this one so this one is in decent shape. It doesn't have any holes. The only thing it has on it is a little bit of something right here. Like it almost looks like paint. And I think it might be paint even. Just a little speck of paint there. But other than that, I don't even see any holes on this one. Or other stains, you know. And I've already washed all these things too. I've washed them when I brought them home. And then stuck them in here so I could do a video. But yeah, I just freshen them up right away. So let's see, next pile. Uh, let me see what I can put on my table here and see what our time is doing. I would like to get through this whole pile before this video is over. So I'm gonna need to go a little faster. But this I just found, um, yeah, this week, this past week, little doily, isn't it pretty? Perfect little doily, I love it. Uh, this also, I found, let's see, what did I find? Two, three of these? One, two, three. Yeah, and they're uh, pretty, I had to compete with another lady to get these. <laughs> she was uh, in the same area as me, and she was looking at the linens too, and she was going to town, I mean, just aggressively turning stuff around and going through things and picking things up, and I was like, gosh, if I want any of that, I better get in there. <laughs> And I didn't act like her, but I was like, hmm. I was, in that fact, I was there before her, and she just came right in and started grabbing stuff. So I was like, well, I guess I better grab what I want, right? Before she grabs it right out of my hand. But uh, there is a little piece here. Is that on one corner of these? I guess these are like maybe dinner napkins. Fancy dinner napkins, I would say. Uh, this little piece is in one corner, and I really like this lace on the edges. It's the color like um, distressed coffee dyed color like I would make it if it was white or something and then so that's all the way around so I can I can cut that off and then you've got some this is not muslin but it's like mus kind of like the color of muslin at least and it's not stretchy or anything so it's a nice little fabric that can be used in junk journals so four of those oh this one's wider look at that oh this one's different see I just saw the same color and thought it was the same thing. 
like I said, I was picking things up pretty quick when that lady started grabbing things practically from out of my hand and uh, said I better grab these before she grabs it, right? Because <laughs> I was there first. She was not being polite. Anyway, uh, pretty little scarf here. Look at that. I didn't even see that yesterday. Okay, cool. It was yesterday that I was there to get these. Yeah. So the, this part is really pretty. This cool little part. And then this thick part on the outside. That is nice. I wish there were, but it would have been more of those. Maybe there was, and she grabbed them. <laughs> I couldn't believe how aggressive she was. I was like, what the heck is happening here? <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, these are little, what are these? I don't know what these are, but they're little squares. <laughs> little squares with embroidery around the outside and this little embroidered piece. I guess it could be hanky, hankies, maybe, hankies. But there's a set of four here. I won't unfold them all, but yeah, this was a different day. This wasn't the, 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 the I didn't have to compete with the, the grabby lady for these. I just was there by myself at that time by the where these were and then was able to like think for two seconds and pick things up. But uh, yeah, these, oh, there's five. One, two, three, four, five. I think there's five. Okay. Yeah, all of these. See, five of these. Very pretty. And that is uh, embroidered. It's like a cross stitch, but it's on this fabric, not on cross stitch fabric. So yeah, it goes through. I don't know if it's commercial or, or um, hand done, but anyway, it's pretty, whatever it is. And then this right here looks like a dresser scarf. It's yellow, like a yellow linen. And it's got this pretty yellow lace all the way around. It's a big rectangle. And it's got this pretty, beautiful embroidery here. Look at that, flowers. This looks like it's hand done because I can see the back, you know, looks like something a person did and not a machine, but very pretty. It's got some, does it have anything? Not really any holes. It's got some color here. I don't know what that's from. Maybe just from, I don't know if that was there before or after I brought it home and washed it, but <laughs> yeah, I think I washed this one. Yeah, I think I washed everything. I just want it to be clean and fresh when I use it, you know. So, very pretty. And look at the lace. Isn't that pretty? It's thick. So, something different, too, than for what I have. So, yeah, I, I, I like, don't find stuff like this embroidered or doilies. It's just so weird because you never know what you're going to find. When, you'll never, never find it, then one day you find a bunch of it. So here's all the doilies. Look at this. These I found all in one day. All of these doilies. I, I like, like I said, I don't really find them. At, I usually find a few at an estate sale or something, but not a lot like this. So I'll just kind of go through these kind of quick. Let me put these out of the way so you can see, so you're not seeing what's underneath, but pretty, pretty one there. I'll put them to the side so you can see each one. Because um, some of these, I'm going to go through them and say, yes, I'll use this one. No, I won't use this one. And the ones I say I won't use, I'm going to put in my Etsy shop. But isn't that gorgeous? Never seen a doily like that. Uh, just the colors, different colors, and this pretty flower in the middle. It's layered. Like, it has a layered look, at least. I think it is layered. And then these green leaves. Very pretty. The other one had the red flower in the middle. This one is coming apart here but very beautiful so perfect one to use in a junk journal right give it new life don't throw it away here's a pretty one here so i i kind of know what i'll use and what i won't use you know what i mean like <laughs> some I, I i know what i'll cut apart i guess i could say that I'll know what I'll cut apart and I'll look at one and say, oh, I'm not going to cut that apart. That's going in my shop. Like this one right here, I wouldn't cut apart. This one I would not cut apart. It's very delicate. I don't know if this is crochet or knitting. Maybe, uh, I don't know the difference. But see, there's a hole right here. So great for junk journals, really. Um, you could cut this circle out. You could cut this up and use it for 
like lace because it's you know this part is lacy so great for shabby chic but yeah a very delicate one there here's another one of these with two roses in the middle a little rectangle cute right nothing wrong with that here's a purple one like a, it has a ruffle on the outside this is thicker right here and very pretty and a oval with the pink flowers in the middle pretty pink and white this is a like a little scarf I think maybe it was used for a little scarf on a dresser or a nightstand or something muslin in the middle and this pink and white lace on the outside uh, this one did I show you one like this oh here's two this is two this one little one with the different colors like I had that other one that was bigger it was like the same thing but it was bigger here's one that's kind of ruffly I just let you see them for what they are and if I need to describe them now there were some like this they were like two layers see that they're like two sewn together so like this side is like this the colorful side maybe it's so you could have two looks in your house if you use these in your hat you know under a lamp or on a table or something but you could you have this look for a while and then you turn it over and there you go have that look it's so thick it could use be used for a pot holder <laughs> this one too double layer here i've never seen that before i found these colorful and i like this side very pretty so you you have two doilies and one on these here's another one same thing and this one too all right and the last one <laughs> that's enough right another kind of a ruffly one very pretty so that's the doily jackpot there um this is a little apron let me look at my time here uh yeah yeah got a little bit more time so this is an apron i thought this was cute i probably will put this in my shop I have another, I have, um, I don't, you know, sometimes I'll cut an apron up and sometimes I won't, it just depends. This one, I will probably, I mean, I could, I could totally use this fabric, gingham pink fabric, right? So pretty. And this little border right here, it's sewn. See that? Looks like it's hand sewn on there. There's a hem here, a large hem. See this? It's like three inch hem here. Does it come apart here? Yeah, see, well, it partly comes apart. So I don't know. Someone made this or what, but I like the little little border here. Who would have thought of putting red and blue on a pink and white gingham apron? But I think it's really pretty. I like it. This one, and it has a pocket here, too. A little pocket. So very cute. That'll probably go in my shop. Sorry, I think I just bumped the camera. Another apron. This one I liked because of this. I totally bought it just for this right here. <laughs> this bird. I want to use this on the front of a journal. It reminded me of Carla Frizzell's bird journals. I was like, oh, uh, one of Carla's birds. It's not her bird, but it's not her. It's the same as hers, but it just reminded me of her birds. So pretty, I thought. And then this fabric, very usable. It's like a lightweight denim almost. And you can see it's got, you know, it's blue and it has a red and kind of a, I'm going to describe it as either light yellow or off-white stripe there. So I really like that whole thing to be used uh, for journals. That right there. I picture myself using that. Uh, okay, so the day that I had the uh, fabric crazy thing <laughs> going on in my head, I got this. So we'll see if I use it. Um, it's kind of like Sears, is it Seersucker? I don't know. It's a pair of pants. And I was like, I really like this um, gray and white. And I thought maybe I could use, cut this up. I haven't cut it up yet. And use it on a, on a journal cover. It kind of, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not ticking of course, but it, you know, I don't know. It's, I just like the look of it. So I thought I'd try it, see if I use it. You know, because I see it all the time. I always think I like that fabric. 
but I don't buy it. But then that day I had the crazy attitude with any fabric goes, not any fabric goes, but you know, I was picturing my little bits on my little tie closure. I was like, you know, I'd really like to try that. So I got a piece of it and this was so pretty. This is a, this is a pillow. Is this a pillow cover? I think this is a pillow cover. I'm trying, oh, here's a zipper here. See, so it's like two layers of this pretty fabric that I will definitely take this apart and use this. I could see this, you know, mostly I can see it on a spine. I think this would be really pretty on a, the right spine where it would match whatever, you know, is being worked on, on on a journal. So that's why I got that. I really, it's really different and I just really like that. So a little, one more stack here and yeah, I've got about what, seven, eight minutes here. So this fabric right here, I was just a little piece of fabric that I saw and my stomach's growling. Uh, yeah, this was a little piece of fabric I saw in front of another lady that was looking through this area and uh, she she picked it up and put it down. I was like, because I saw it, I was like, oh, ladybugs <laughs> and daisies, so cute. And it's just, a, you know, it's just a scrap here, I guess. But I was like, um, I don't have any ladybug fabric. I really like to get that. And then she moved on. So then I went over and picked it up. I wasn't like that other lady where she was just aggressively grabbing things. I waited till she left and then went over. When she didn't take it, I went over and picked it up. So <laughs> uh, anyway, I thought it was cute. And here's, this is just some fabric pieces that were there. Like this is a big red, you know, red with big white polka dots. That could be cute on a... The right journal that it would match on a spine I thought just a scrap there this is uh the day I had that attitude you know I couldn't pass up this red and white gingham uh, shirt this is a shirt it has a little pocket here a little cute little button and a bunch of little buttons that I thought I could use so that is going to be cut up for me to use the fabric uh, uh, my pile's getting ready to fall over here <laughs> that I'm moving things over there. Okay, this was a piece of fabric, a good size piece of fabric here. Pink with white. It's kind of a mauve type, but it's a big piece of fabric that, you know, I thought could be used in junk journals. And the big pieces of fabric like this, I might, you know, get gather these and then cut some up to put a, maybe a fabric pack, a bundle, whatever, in my shop type of thing this too isn't this pretty it's just a scrap from someone that didn't need the rest of it and gave it to the thrift store and it's it's really pretty and it actually matches this these could go together see that <laughs> isn't that pretty together yes it is okay and another apron and we're almost done another little apron this one I just thought was so cute that I'll probably I don't know I'll just probably put it in my shop maybe but I just thought it was so cute. Look at this big ruffle uh, here and two pockets. And one thing, one reason I picked these up is because my niece works at a school. Actually, two of my nieces work at a school now where they they work with younger kids, like little kids and some older kids like elementary school and little kids like three and four. So they and one of them, especially she's I don't know if they both do, but one of them told me. She uses aprons where she wears them around at school, like she's, you know, wears her wears them, wears them over her clothes, and then she likes them with pockets. And these have two pockets here, two. They're not real deep, but there there are two pockets here in the front, and this is cute. And she just buys. Whoops, she's been buying, and I bought her a couple and sent them to her. She's that was my glue fell down. Um, I bought them a, a couple and sent them to her when I found them cute ones with pockets. And she wears them at school and carries around her whatever she needs to carry around with her at school. You know, her pens and scissors or whatever she needs to carry around with her for the kid, for the kids or whatever she's doing at the time. So that reminded me of her. And I, so I kind of have that in the back of my mind when I'm at thrift stores or she doesn't need any more ap aprons. But if I see an apron that I think is really cute that someone might want for that reason or any other reason for cooking or whatever you use an apron for the craft room even uh you know if you're or you know if you're an art teacher you might need it to carry your things around but uh yeah that's why I got that and then okay one day I was there at the thrift store 
And I like these types of tablecloths. Like I have a red and white one. And they're like, to me, they just look so uh, vintage. And I don't know what year they're from. I don't know if they're 70s or 80s or whatever. But I just really like this pattern. And I don't think I've ever seen blue and white ones before. And I was there one day and I saw three. <laughs> three tablecloths in this blue and white. I was like, hmm, I don't know if I need three, but uh, I can, if I don't use them, like I, I'm not even saying I would use this for a junk journal. I'm saying I would use this for a tablecloth in my ha house or they're so cool. You can throw them over a picnic table if you're camping or, you know, outside in your own backyard, you're having a little, you know, get together and or um, in, inside whatever you can uh, take these on a picnic and throw them out on the ground just very I thought very useful and I just like this pattern it's just very homey and uh, vintage looking so I got all three and if I don't use them all I will put one or two in my shop <laughs> so I don't know if I have room to keep them all in my house I have quite a few tablecloths already so but I did want to add at least one of these to my collection and see what I do with the other two because I thought they were so cool. So that's all my linens for right now. And I'm sure I'll find more, so I'll be back to show you. But uh, thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed my linens. And I'll see you next time. Thanks and have a great week. Happy crafting and happy thrifting.